it's big, it's all electric, it's Swedish, and this is Volvo's newest flagship EV SUV, and we're gonna take it on a test drive. Say hey, with a J, it's Swedish, to the Volvo EX90. This three-row SUV runs on electrons, can seat up to seven passengers, and is built on the same platform as the Polestar 3. The Volvo brand plans on selling only fully electric cars by the year 2030, and seemingly retains that classic Volvo design language with the new EX90 with the addition of these cool Ultimate Thor's Hammer daytime running lights that open up to reveal the actual headlights and a taillight design that resembles the XC90. Yeah, if you like Volvo, you're gonna like this. It looks like your traditional Volvo, but it has that EV spark. That spark is provided by a flat skateboard style 111 kilowatt hour battery. The twin motor EX90 variant has a combined 408 horsepower and standard all wheel drive getting it from 0 to 60 in around 5.7 seconds. But my tester today is the twin motor performance model which bumps up horsepower to 510 and shaves a whole second off its 0 to 60 sprint. And if you're looking for a plush ride, the EX90 has available dual chamber air suspension. With EVs, we all love that instantaneous torque, and the EX90 has plenty of power to play around with and have some fun. But I gotta say, the brake feel is a little bit squishy. And if you just wanna let off the brakes in general and use the one pedal drive mode, you can activate that on the infotainment screen right away. And there's even an automatic one pedal drive mode which kind of engages when you're coming up too close to a car it's a little freaky and i decided to turn that off and i like conventional driving so i just don't use one pedal drive mode altogether and if you want to do regenerative braking feel there's no option for that you can't change up the regen brake feel anywhere so it's either one pedal drive mode or just driving regular Volvo claims the EX90 can achieve between 296 and 308 miles of range depending on the configuration and is capable of charging up to 250 kilowatts on a DC fast charger and that can add 111 miles of range in around 10 minutes and a 10 to 80 percent charge in roughly 30 minutes. The battery also uses preconditioning to heat or cool to an optimal temperature for rapid charging and the EX90 will be the first Volvo vehicle capable of bi-directional charging. This can be useful to provide power to something like an electronic device, another EV, or even a house. And this bi-directional charging capability opens up the possibility to sell energy back to the grid. In the driver's position, the seats are nice and comfortable and supportive. I like how the side bolsters are keeping me in place and you also have thigh extensions for taller people like myself. I'm 6'4", this seat can go really far back on its tracks and I was a bit nervous about this eco-conscious fabric material on the seats being a little scratchy, but they actually feel pretty good. The only thing I don't like is uh, some of the settings, the driver ergonomics are embedded in this screen. So if you wanna change up your side view mirrors or your steering wheel, you can't really do that unless you take your eyes off the road. And this safety system, which I'll get to later, will let you know you are distracted, keep your eyes on the road. And as far as the steering wheel controls, I wish the steering wheel came out to me just a little bit more. And I'm not in love with these uh, signal stalks because it does that weird thing where you press it up all the way, but it comes right back down to the middle. If I press it up all the way, I want you to stay up all the way and not do that weird thing. But operating the infotainment screen is actually kind of easy. You have widgets at the bottom, your climate controls at the very bottom. And if you want to access something, it's usually just two or three clicks away. And if you are sharing this car with someone, you have driver profile, so you don't have to fiddle with this and get your mirrors and your steering wheel and seat settings configured all over again. In this seven-seater EX90, I found it to be fairly comfortable in the first two rows. In the driver's position, there's ample head and leg room for my tall frame, and the seats are highly adjustable. But while seated on the passenger side, I found foot space to be a bit cozy thanks to a lump in the front passenger side footwell. So keep that in mind if you wear some large shoes. Behind myself in the second row, there's still space for my legs, loads of headroom, and the seats can slide and recline. There's also a command center for the AC controls, two USB ports, and a flat floor to accommodate middle seat occupants. 
And of course, this is a three row SUV, so let me show you how to get in the third row. You do have a latch on the back of the shoulder of the second row seat, and you got a good amount of space. Keep in mind, I am 6'4", so it's... I'm gonna scoot this up just in case. Ooh, electronic -y bits. Come on, scooch. There we go. Ugh, perfect. All right, so, yeah. So this is scoot up all the way. This seat is not, uh, and this seat is scoot all the way back. So you have a little bit of space back here, but I don't have much headroom and your second row passengers are gonna have to scoot up a lot. I would dare say this is for smaller people or children. It's not gonna do Mr. Mike Danger any justice on long trips. So don't you dare put me back here. But if you're not filling up the third row with people, at least you know that space can be put to better use. And one of the benefits of having something this big is of course, cargo room. And one cool little Easter egg that Volvo gives you on the EX90 is dimensions. So you know exactly what can fit in here, whether it be, I don't know, a baby carriage or luggage or, a dryer what the hell okay so yeah you can fit some cool stuff back here and right here you also get some underfloor storage for any charging cables grocery bags gallons of milk whatever and on the side you get some buttons to recline your third row seats they're capacitive touch which i'm not a fan of because i don't know if it's working or not because on the air suspension you also have some buttons on the side that lowers and raises it but I don't get any feedback to know if it's operating correctly. But it's a good amount of space back here. And most likely, you're not going to use the third row that often if you don't need to. So this is going to be down. You got plenty of space to put all of your goodies. Folding both the second and third row seats will yield around 67.6 total cubic feet of space. And if you need a smidge more, yes, there's a front that holds 1.6 cubic feet. The cabin of the EX90 is filled with premium materials and has a very minimalistic look, but lots of tech. It's equipped with a 13 inch head up display, slim nine inch driver display, and a portrait oriented 14.5 inch center touchscreen with integrated Google built in. So you can use apps like Google Maps, Play, and Assistant to help limit distractions while driving. The screen can also switch its quick button selection on the lower portion at different speeds to show appropriate options. The gauge cluster, even though it's small and narrow, it does a good job. It shows me my pertinent information like speed and my range, and it also displays your navigation directions right here. So it's kind of in your line of sight for the road because yeah, if you take your eyes off the road, which I'm trying not to do, it will let you know. Visibility in the EX90 is great. Out front, it looks good. You have a nice wide view. Over my left shoulder, it looks good. Going straight back, looks fine. Over my right, it's okay. But if someone is occupying the second row seat on the right side, like someone is, then the very back window past the C-pillar is blocked. But man, this has so many safety features to keep you and your passengers safe. You won't have to worry about much but still drive safe and keep your eyes on the damn road. Volvo has claimed the EX90 to be the safest Volvo ever made. There are sensors inside the cabin to monitor head and eye movements to make sure you're staying focused on the road. A roof mounted LiDAR on the outside that works with cameras around the car to help detect other drivers up to 820 feet ahead and a pilot assist with lane change assist function. So right now I'm entering the highway and we're gonna test out the pilot assist function, which you engage by pressing down the gear selector. And let's see how it does. So far so good. You, I'm gonna adjust the speed to the speed limit, which is 70 miles an hour. All right, why not? So we're going 70, we're in the back of a semi and doing a decent job keeping me in my lane, but this has lane change assist. So to do that, you press the signal stock all the way down, keep your hands on the steering wheel like this says, and hey, there we go, now it changed the lane. It cancels the signal, and now I'm in the center lane, and I'm maintaining the speed limit. That was pretty good. 
it's not ping-ponging me. It's keeping me at speed. I feel comfortable. You just gotta make sure you keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes looking forward. Pricing for a base Volvo EX90 Plus model begins at $81,290 and that includes the destination fee. This comes with 20 inch wheels, the head up display, fixed panoramic sunroof, 360 degree camera, and pilot assist. If you'd like more premium features like larger wheels, air suspension, soft closed doors, and massaging front seats, the EX90 Ultra model starts at $85,640. And if you have a need for speed, the EX90 twin motor performance like our tester starts at $86,290. If you're interested in grabbing the Volvo EX90 or maybe even a two row EV, make sure you go on KBB.com and get a fair purchase price. KBB.com, click the link above for more details. Competitors in this luxury three row EV SUV segment include the Rivian R1S, Mercedes-Benz EQS SUV, Lucid Gravity, and the larger, more expensive Cadillac Escalade IQ. And I'll throw in the Tesla Model X, you can fight me in the comment section. The Volvo EX90 will be built in Charleston, South Carolina, and will start arriving to dealers in the last quarter of 2024. This big Swedish EV SUV has decent range, a lot of tech, space for your friends, a comfortable ride, and brings that Volvo charm. So if all of that stuff sounds good to you, check out the Volvo EX90.